All right, guys, I'm back with another video. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back with another video. If you haven't already subscribed, go do that right now. Uh, today, we are back with another vlog. Yes, another vlog. Uh, as y'all seen of some of my videos that I've been posting on YouTube, like my shorts and stuff like that, y'all have been seeing that I've been playing with toys like this. I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, but before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank y'all to uh, all my supporters and all my uh, subscribers. Yes, we finally hit 500 subscribers a little over 500 we are like at like uh we're at like 502 or 503 something like that i appreciate every single one of you for real it really means a lot to me um my next goal now is to get another 500 which adds up to 1000 subscribers no shit sherlock hopefully before this summer ends i get to that goal but if not we're still going to be grinding we're still going to be putting out content for you guys but for the people that are uh, have already subscribed to me I love y'all, really appreciate it, and look out for other videos. But another another thing I wanted to get to, since I hit 500 subscribers, I want to go ahead and do a giveaway. Like, um, I don't know yet. Y'all comment below, what should I give away? Like, should I go out and buy something and give it away to one of you guys? You know, a, a boy and a girl type gift? I don't know. Y'all gotta be out. Y'all gotta comment below and let me know. And as soon as I see comments and stuff like that, I'll go ahead and buy something. But y'all have to leave comments. I just seen a rat. Oh, I see another one. Comment, subscribe, and everybody that helped me to get 500 subscribers, thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Y'all have no idea how happy I am. Um, other than that guys, let's get into the video. Um, before I go ahead and start the video, I actually started because I uh, ahead and did a couple things. Um, we've, been do we've been doing a couple things like shooting and dirt bike riding and stuff like that. But before I show them clips and really start the video, I just want to go ahead and show y'all, you know, give y'all a little update before y'all actually see this whole video. So I'm going to go ahead and run through everything that I went ahead and purchased and um, my new hobby, basically, this is like a new hobby, a new, I don't know, it, it's, it's just a hobby, guys, it's nothing, um, it's nothing, you know, it's just a hobby, that's it, guys, honestly, uh, and before I show you these things, uh, they are all unloaded, and, um, yes, they're all, uh, carefully, you know, maintained and carefully propered and used, so, I don't know if that made any sense. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. And before I show y'all these again, guys, uh, these are just for, you know, just for fun. Uh, they are dangerous. Uh, they could actually, they could definitely uh, take someone's life or your life. So, guys, like I said, this is just for a hobby. Um, this is just all for fun. That's all it is, guys. Um, the last thing I would want to do is protect myself with these firearms. That's the last thing I would want to do, honestly. Make sure you are careful with these things because they're definitely not toys, guys. They're they're completely dangerous if they get in the wrong hands and if they're not properly used. So, like I say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you guys stay safe with these because they're not toys at all. But let's get into the video right now. All right, guys, I'm back. Let me set up the camera. Oh, no, my tripod. The first gun that I'm going to show you all is this one. This is a... Um, it's made by, it's a CM40, so it's a 40 caliber, uh, very compact. Look how small that is. That's, I don't know, that's pretty small to me. Uh, it is unloaded. You can see the clip. It's unloaded. Um, it, like I said, it is a, a CM40. As y'all can see, I don't know if y'all can see, CM40. Uh, it's made by uh, Hurt, Hurt Arms or something like that. I don't know if you can. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yes, it's made by her arms. Um, uh, it's nice. It's definitely a nice looking pistol. Um, just for me, 
it is a little too much because you can't really like personally like I, I like holding my guns like this but the pinky is where it like like you can barely get it on there honestly so as soon as you get off one shot it like you have to like relocate your hand and then you know do it again so uh, for a carrying pistol if you got small hands um, then yeah this is perfect and yeah other than that it's a nice pistol uh, I'll, I'll do a size comparison on all my guns uh, so yeah this is uh, I, I bought this I forgot how much this was what this is like four hundred four or five hundred dollars something like that but as y'all can see it's a nice pistol I don't know if y'all can see like I said guys these are all unloaded let me show, show it again all unloaded but yeah that's the first one this is the second one but this is the second one this is a um, Taurus G3 uh, not the G3C or the G3X I don't know if they even make that but I know they make a, a G32X or C because my sister that's what my sister has it's clear guys uh, I really like this gun. This is a really self-defense gun if y'all want to use it for that uh, Because it holds 17 rounds. That's that's a lot and it's it sticks out a little bit Which I don't know how I feel about that. Honestly It looks I don't know y'all. Let me know comment below These are all cleared as y'all can see all cleared but Yes, it's, it's not too bad. It's definitely a big pistol uh, I don't know it feels good in the hands you got a lot of room down here. So, yeah, not bad. Here's the safety. It has a nice little safety right there. So, I don't know. I think it's nice. Definitely got some upgrade parts uh, for these. Um, so, if you want to go check them out, go look it up on eBay. And they have tons of upgrade parts. Um, like 16 round mag. Right? For the optic, you can definitely do that. Um... Other than that, and the things that I have coming for these is uh, the cutout slide so I can mount an optic and a laser. That's all I really want for this pistol. Nothing else, honestly. Too crazy. But other than that, guys, let's get into the other gun. My newest gun, this right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. I hope y'all can see it. This is a Glock 43. Really compact. Uh, it feels really good in the hand. Uh, if it didn't have the extended mag, I don't think I'll be able to put my finger, my thumb, or my uh, my pinky, because I like the my pointer, my pointer, which is my trigger finger. Jesus, my pointer finger. I like to keep it here, which is my trigger finger, if I need it. But I also like to have three three fingers on the on the holster, so or the uh, the handle right here, the handle. So yes. So far, I like it, but uh, I'm not a big fan of the see-through clips. Honestly, they feel like, I don't know if y'all can hear that. I don't like that. Even though I shot um, all 10 rounds out of this, uh, and it does not jam at all with the, with, the, uh, with the clip, even though Glock is known for not jamming, but some of these see-through clips, they're, they're junk. But, uh... Yeah, as y'all can see, Glock 43. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'll see if I can get it for use. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can get it. Oh, y'all can see it a little bit. But yeah, it's definitely a nice little pistol. It is empty. Obviously empty. Nothing in the head. But yeah, chambered in 9mm. This is 9mm, the Glock that I just showed y'all. This is chambered in 9 millimeters, and this is chambered in 40, so, you know, big bullets. <laughs> definitely bigger than 9 millimeter. Not too much, but they definitely are bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all these a little better. So here I go, guys. Biggest to smallest, or smallest to biggest. <laughs> so, like I said, so you all get a better, uh, uh, better image of this, or video. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the pistol. Which one do y'all like? Personally, my favorite one is the Glock and the Taurus. 
but you know this one is really nice i like it though lock if you ever see a better picture it's pretty nice nothing too too fancy i do have a couple things coming for this like a, a window slide so it has like cutouts and stuff uh, a little extended barrel which is going to be threaded and that's it honestly and maybe an optic i don't know i don't know how i feel about it on the glock but definitely really nice i don't know if y'all can see that y'all see that it's glock White iron sights, which is pretty nice. I like them. Honestly, I don't know why it's not focusing. But y'all get the point, guys. On to the next. For the Taurus G3. Like all the other pistols, uh, I don't know. I like this one the the best, even out of the Glock. Because the how many rounds it holds. And it feels really good in the hand. Like, I don't know, like... I don't know. I'm not struggling to put on three. It 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 just goes there well. But uh, yeah, nothing really, nothing really to say about this gun. Iron sights. You can't really see the white dots on the camera, but in person, I can see it very well. But uh, other than that, got into guns. I'm pretty new. Let's just say that. But uh, yeah, the trigger is really like. Look at this. Really right there. That's pretty cool. I like that. How it doesn't need like a full stroke. It's just bang, 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 bang. Which is pretty cool. Like I say, guys, these are all cleared. Obviously, it would have been fired. But, uh, yes. And I know a lot of people say don't dry fire your guns. You know, they're my guns. I can do whatever I want with them. As long as it's legal. That's all. But look at that. I do have a couple things coming for this gun, like I said. Which is a cutout slide. And with the windows and a laser. That's all I really want. And an optic. I want a nice little optic. But yeah, Lego. Y'all can see the size difference too. This is the 40, which is really compact. I don't want to drop them, especially down there. But look at that. Look at the difference. It definitely. This is definitely smaller than the Glock. I don't know. I like it though. They're all uh, pretty looking guns. I like it. <clears throat> But, like I said, guys, this is just for a hobby. This is nothing to, you know, go out and do crazy shit. Um, even though these can be used to protect your life. But, like I said, it's one of the last things that I would want to do, honestly. And that's that's on everything. But, if you have to, yes, these are very good investments to protect your life and your family. But, like I said, this is the last thing I would want to do. But, further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and play the video uh, of all the stuff that we did this weekend. Um... I do have three more videos that I am working on. They're really long. They're not too long. They're like 30 minutes long, which is probably the longest video I've posted in a while. So, yes, I'm still working on, on them three. So, this video will come out before them because it just makes sense. So, yes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the video. And like I say, guys, I am doing a giveaway because I, I did hit 500 subscribers. So, that means a lot to me, guys. And everybody that helped me do that, uh, I appreciate everything that y'all did. And... Let's get on our video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all. Peace. Alright, guys. I told you we're going to be riding. You ready? No. You gonna rip it? Okay. Look at that. Oh, 
about to hit a big one. Jump. I don't like the jumps. I don't either. That's why I'm going around them. Like the other ones, like I'll hit a little, but it's all new.
video, huh?